What's up guys, it's me Skylar. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get your round off. If you're excited for this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if this video gets to 200 likes, I will do a round off back handspring tutorial. All right, I know you guys want to get into the video, so let's get started. Okay, in order to get your round off, you need to have a solid cartwheel. In order to perfect this skill, we are going to repeat it seven times. Okay, now I'm going to show you a faster cartwheel. What you're going to do is you're going to start in the same position as you did for your cartwheel. But you're going to put your feet down faster than you usually would. Make sure you block off your hands. I'll show you one more time. We are going to repeat this five times. Okay, now it's time to take a little bit of a break from the round off and we're going to focus on how to do the hurdle. This is a hurdle. In order to do really hard tumbling passes or any tumbling pass at all, you're going to need this hurdle in order to get power. So I am a righty, so I'm going to show you how I do a hurdle, and then I'll show you how a lefty should do it. For me, I take a few steps before going into my hurdle. Right, left, then I hurdle. What you have to think about is jumping off the foot that is on the ground. Right, left, hurdle. Okay, before we do that motion five times, I'm going to show you how a lefty should do it. Left, right, hurdle. Lefty should have their left foot up in the air and righty should have their right foot because when you're going for your round off, you're going to put that foot down just like you would as a cartwheel. Do this motion five times. The shape that you should have in a hurdle is a hollow position, just like this. Because if you hurdle like this, it's going to be a long way down for you to put your hands. So make sure to hurdle in a hollow position. Now you're going to do the same skill that we did in step number two, but you're going to do a hurdle into it. So remember, the fast cartwheel with your feet coming down one, two, but hurdle into it. I'm going to show it to you first. Repeat this seven times. this time but you're going to do a slow motion round off start in that same hollow position as you would in a hurdle and at the end put your feet together so when you put your feet together make sure you put them together at the end not when you're cartwheeling I'm going to show you a bad example as you can see I put my feet together too fast and because of that I didn't have a good block off my hands now I'm going to show you a better example or as I should say the best example. Make sure those feet come together and squeeze your bottom. Do this five times. Okay, it's now time to do the round off. It's the last step. If any of you guys are confused about the block, let me explain. When you block on any type of skill, a back handspring or a round off, you're going to need to put your shoulders into your ears. Here are my shoulders out of my ears, and here are my shoulders into my ears. That creates a stable platform. If I go like this, my arm is loose, so I don't have a good stable platform to block off of. So make sure you have that stable platform in your round off. Now what we're going to do for the last step is you're going to combine all of the steps and do your hurdle and do your round off. Let me show it to you guys. So guys, as I was editing this video, I realized that I forgot to do the shout out of the week. This week's shout out goes to Miss Kai Kai Costello. She did all of the things. Make sure you check down in the description to know what you need to do in order to get a shout out. Kylie, I love you so much and thank you for being a wonderful subscriber. All right guys, let's get back to the video. <laughs> Enjoy 
enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for 7,000 subscribers. I love every single one of you. And remember what I said in the beginning of the video, if this video gets to 200 likes, I will do a tutorial on how to connect your Roundup back handspring. Bye guys, I love you all so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.